A FedEx driver is carjacked and robbed in Philadelphia. Police say the victim was tied up in the back of the truck as the suspect took off in the driver's seat before eventually stealing the packages inside. This happened before noon today on the 4300 block of Tackawana Street. And that's where we find Action News reporter Jillian Mealy, who's live in Northeast Philadelphia with those details. Jillian? And that's right, Christy. And just a short time ago, police did say they are calling this a carjacking and robbery. And they say while the victim was tied up, he was actually able to make a phone call to someone he works with, one of his managers. We had a chance to talk to him. Listen. The driver called me saying that uh, he got held at gunpoint. Someone tried to steal a truck. And uh, the guy went inside the truck with a gun, pointed at him. He fell in the back. And he said he was tied up. In surveillance video from the 1600 block of Wamrath Street in Frankfurt, you can see this FedEx truck coming to a rest in the middle of the block. And about a minute later, someone exits the truck and walks off. FedEx delivery truck was making um, its stops along Tacawana Street. Black male with a mask and a dark jacket and a uh, handgun forced his way under the truck. Um, he tied the driver up with his belt. Uh, drove the truck a few blocks down the street to approximately Walmart Street, uh, stole some packages and fled on foot. Chopper 6 was over the scene as the FedEx driver was able to walk out of the truck unharmed. That's pretty brazen uh, and it's we're thankful that the FedEx driver is uninjured uh, other than the trauma of being, you know, robbed point of gun. And it's just another example of a crime that has happened in broad daylight on the streets of Philadelphia. Now, as of this moment, police don't have a whole lot of information to go off of. So they say if you have any information, they want to hear from you. We are live outside of Northeast Detectives. I'm Jillian Mealy, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. Jillian, thank you for that report.